Hey, welcome back to Bridal Sewing Techniques. And today we're gonna talk about how to fix a little burr that you get on your stuff that keeps grabbing your threads. It's a little DIY fix. You don't actually have to take it to a repair person. All you do is you uh, literally you just take a nail file. This one obviously <laughs> is just super worn out, but this has like a little burr here. So I'm literally just gonna file it. Like, it works. I know it sounds crazy, but it works. So you just file it down, the metal's soft enough for that, and you feel it, and now it's super smooth. Um, but this one, it's also, I don't know if you can see, like, there, you can see it, how dirty it is in there. Look at how dirty down in those little holes. Um, in there and stuff. So, uh, this, uh, bobbin casing really needs some TLC. Uh, some stuff was starting to hang up on it and everything. So, um, what I did is this is an old bottle for, um, you know, just hand soap or whatever. Um, and I put my Lily White sewing machine oil in there. That's all I ever use. And it should be linked to on the products page of my website. That's where I try to put all those links. Um, if not, I'll try to get on there super soon. Um, but again, this is just one of them in my, my little series of my little quick tips for you guys that I've been doing over the summer because I'm getting clobbered for bridal season. Uh, so anyways, here, whoop, let that thing go for a swim. <laughs> go into the little oil swimming pool and that's going to kind of get down in all the cracks and crevices. Um, and I'm just going to let that soak here for a while while I work today. Um, and then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to scrub it with a toothbrush and get it all nice and clean and fresh. Then we'll give it another try. If she still wants to um, grab threads and cause trouble and bird nest and make tangles and all sorts of things, she's going in the trash because they really don't cost that much. Um, as you guys may or may not know, the parts to the commercial sewing machines a lot of times are cheaper than the parts that are marketed to home sewers um, in the home sewing stores. You know, you can get like a foot for like, I mean, some of them are crazy, like $40, $40 for a foot for a home sewing machine. That's a rip off, guys. Let me, let me look at this. I just got this receipt. I just bought something the other day. I bought a new bobbin casing and a new foot for my machine. It's a zipper foot, but it's an all-purpose zipper foot. It's different. Check out that total. <laughs> okay, so one of these is the foot and the other is the bobbin casing. And bobbin casing. I know, you guys are going to get me. I can't talk. I know that. You can put that in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> haters I need those have you seen those red pants that Miranda Sings wears they say haters back off I I totally need to get a pair of those <laughs> haters back off anyways look one of them was four bucks the other was five bucks I don't even care which one was which here's the here's the new foot by the way right there, right there. let me show it there's that skinny little bad boy isn't that going to get in all the little nooks and crannies really well? All the little cracks and crevices. I'm looking forward to using that one. So, yeah, you can use this hint uh, to clear up things like, you know, parts like this that get little snags on them. Also, the bottoms of your feet sometimes uh, you'll get like a little burr on the bottoms of your feet and it's like causing trouble. And just use a file and get that thing cleaned up and keep on rolling. I hope this has helped you. I'll be back with my full-length video soon, guys. I miss you. Hope you miss me, too. As always, I am very present in the comments. Even though I'm super busy with bridal season and some of my longer edits, um, I'm still in the comments if you need me. Um, my emails are... As always, I do respond to emails. I'm just a little slow. It, uh, it takes me a couple weeks sometimes because um, I just sit down and respond to them in a batch is how that works. So you guys have a glorious day. Bye.